Wednesday. Are they closed? We got some portrait paintings. And then Caroline found one too. All right guys, I'm back down here in Georgia and I'm doing a little shopping vlog. We're shopping all, well, it's almost one right now, but we're shopping for the rest of the day today. And then tomorrow, we're checking out some other antique and vintage shops in the area. This shopping trip, I'm searching for the booth, but I'm also keeping luckets in mind. And if I can find some mid-century stuff for the little lesser loot booth that I'm doing in May, that'd also be fantastic. Mike and I brought the truck down and I'm trying to fill it up. Uptown Marketplace. Oh, it's down there? Yeah, we have to get this Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Loads of really nice barware. Flower frogs, always good to pick up. 16 on that one. 14. Cute little candle snuffer, it's heavy. 950. Look at all these overall options that they have. 85, 85, a lot of gap ones. 85, actually, are they all gap? Somebody have a gap overall collection? Ooh. Okay, started to lean forward, but I think I got it. Those are actually some really nice architectural salvage pieces. This is kind of nice too. What do we got here? 32 wicker tray old wheat seeds. That'd be cute at the fall luckets. And I saw, what did I see? Oh, I liked this mirror. I can't see the price. Looks like three something. Cute little $6 piece. Pressed flowers. I'm drawn to this piece. Italian purse for 55. The brass handles were just so cute. All right, I've seen designs like this on Pinterest recently. I would love to see this on like a denim jacket. How much is it? 14, tempting. I don't know what this is. It's heavy. Oil lamp used to represent light over darkness and good over evil, 78. It's got this hook here and this long chain. Very nice brass face for 30. That's about what I would sell it at. I like the shape. I'll leave that for someone else to find. Oh, we got some portrait paintings. Look at this handsome guy. Oh my gosh, 42? Is it a print or is it an actual painting? It looks like a real painting. And then we have this lovely lady as well. How much are you? 
looks like 52 for her. Must be from the same family. All right, I was digging around this booth and look what I just found. 29. I found some hands. I sell them for a little more, but I also overpay for them just because I do. like the look of yeah. them. Because I like to put my business cards in them. Yeah, so 29, cute. I don't think is a bad price, but it's also a, a keep price. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These bamboo racks or little shelf pieces, they're either extremely expensive or not for sale <laughs> every time I see them. Whales. I've sold these before. Pair for 25. Oh man, we just saw an onyx vase the other day, but it was green. This one's $42.99. I like that green one, but I like that one too. $45 on the windows, and they look like they're all intact, the glass. You guys know I like interesting salt and pepper shakers. Bulldog heads. Such a Georgia thing, too. I'm surprised they're still here. 25. And you can find the plugs, like if they're missing some plugs, you can find replacement ones on Amazon for pretty cheap. It's planter. 1486. Cute little brass dish. 986. 2286 with the brass inlay. Some bookends. 48. Here's the other one. These are just kind of hiding back here. Brown Belgian bubble jar. And it's got the lid. I've seen these before in 1186. Ain't a terrible price for them either, and there's two of them. They're both eleven eighty six. I need to think about those. Ooh, take thirty percent off any item marked with a bird. Ah, darn, these aren't marked with birds. I don't think. No, but I'll think about them. All right, guys, we're getting ready to move on to the next store, but I wanted to show you this really cute display idea I just saw for earrings. They've put the earrings on old photos. Really like that idea. I think that's a great way to sell old photos and also display earrings. I've never seen that before. I think that's really cool and creative. And it looks like they're just on photo stands or picture frame stands. So there's that one. And this one, I, I don't really know what that is. Oh, they did the same thing with that necklace. They cut those notches out the top there. That's awesome. I love that. I'm totally stealing that idea. The hands. Ooh! And what's coming back now? Let me see. Like in like, you know, milk glass or <laughs> what is hot now? Thank you. <laughs> hmm. It, everything's so personal now. Okay. It's. I love hearing about this, okay? It, it's hard to say. Unique pieces conversational pieces funky pieces okay. i'd say it's all about mix matching too with like right. glasses and glassware i would that say definitely sense. the granddad chic grandma chic oh wow kind of mixed in with that cottage core what about like italian european like country or like um i feel like that's always kind of yeah. in style yeah and works well with a lot of different stuff oh it's so cute are they closed today when are they closed it doesn't have hours. Yeah, we're it's closed Wednesday. <gasps> what? No! How could you, Mima? I think a few people recommended this place on my Instagram when I asked what I should check out in and around oh, yeah. Augusta. We're going to North Augusta tomorrow. Yes, this looks like it'll have some treasures in it. It's got furniture on the outside, always a good sign. That desk down there is huge, but fabulous. Crocheted table runner. And it looks like a long one for $16.29. Oh, this one's more lacy. $8.29. Oh, okay, there's a tag on it. So not super duper old. 
made in India. I think I like this one more of the two, but it's really nice, very pretty. Ooh, very nice crystal tumblers in the box too. Capri collection, I might have to Google lens those. 1829, bookends. 12.29 for the pair. I've sold these doves before, but they've never been in bookend form. Do you guys remember that big vase? I think I've put it mostly on my Instagram stories. Well, here's another one, but it doesn't look like it's brass inlay. It, what does that say? Black and brown brass large vase. It's almost got like this pinkish hue to it. It almost looks more bronzy. $45 is a, is a great price for it. I wouldn't be able to resell it at that price, but these are funky. They're showing up very yellow on camera. They're not that bright in person, but the 32 a piece and they are paintings. Ooh, another bookend set. Over 12. We're going to do those. Those are nice. Two seventy nine for the bamboo round table with the four chairs. Really like this one. Two ninety nine for the set. Some rugs over here too. I like that rug. I like that rug. Forty five. Well, this is a long runner. Fifty. 169. I'm just curious because I like the black on this one. No tag. We got some pretty bad staining right here, but I like the black and I like the colors on this one. I think it would look good in the Luckett set, but I wouldn't expect it to sell. It would just be kind of a, a filler piece, which I don't want to waste too much money on. This is the current stash that I have up here. I found this when I was walking back through uh, the little pieces over here for $12.29. And so I'm definitely doing that. This I'm gonna do just because I need little stands for small pictures and things like that. Now, normally I don't go for plastic, but this five piece set of plastic shell like bowls for $8.29, I'm gonna take a chance on. And then I also found this wonderful brass flower pot for $22.29. A little high for a resale, but it's big and I can't hardly find any for that price in my area anymore. Those are the little bookends over there. I'm still trying to decide if I wanna do those paintings. 32 a piece, very moody. And like I said, a little more muted in person. I don't know why they're showing up so bright on camera. I don't know. What do you guys think? On canvas. You know what? I'm just going to take a chance on them. I feel like I'm going to regret leaving them. So I'm just going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take the chance. I'm trying to get more creative with my earrings, but my got these cute pearls for Christmas. Oh, they're cute. They're good. This is West End Collective, and it's got a lot of nicer antiques in it, so I don't know if we're actually going to be able to source anything from this place, but maybe we can get some good inspiration, some good styling inspiration. Look at this cute little wall cabinet. Pheasant pelts, 40 a piece. Ooh, that's a nice pine piece. Dang, look at this mirror. I don't see a price tag and I don't want to move it to try and find one. <laughs> Ooh. I love the colors. $7.95, but it's gorgeous. Look at that canvas. Look, it's even had some repairs done. You can see it in the back. 
Oh, I didn't even see the second swan back here. Trends and Traditions is gonna be the last place that we hit up today. Leslie walked me through maybe a year ago. It's another one of those situations where there's stuff outside, so you know it's gonna be good. Hello. Look what we found. Eight, and then Caroline found one too. Also eight. Absolutely. I love your mansion. Oh, I love thank um, you. Um, well, thank you guys so much for letting us shop right. and stuff. You guys have a good one. Bye -bye. Ready to head out to some shops. I think to the northern Augusta area. Before we head out, I got these earrings yesterday and I forgot to show you guys. Found them at the consignment shop that we were at. Two different pairs and one was definitely more funky than the other. They were such a good price. I thought I'd just try them and see how they looked. If anything, I have a girlfriend that I think they would look really good on. And it's just these kind of basic chunky hoops. Oh, I really like that. You ready for this set? I know. I don't know what, what came over me. Let's see how they look. I don't know for what occasion. Actually, would these look good with this dress that I have for a wedding that we're going in the spring? It actually might work with them. All right, <laughs> they're fun, but we're gonna wear these chunky hoops out. What first place did you wanna go? River. River? River something. <laughs> river, river something. <laughs> Rivertown Antiques? I think Rivertown right. Antiques is a place that, near me. Such a cute coffee shop. We're gonna run in here and check out Ten Penny Lane real fast. It's on our way to the next place. Some really pretty ironstone too. Pretty fun. 
19. Brass cranes, 35 for the pair. That's a great price for those. Just how this is styled alone is so eye-catching. Ooh, I haven't seen a box with this design on it. 19, oh, that's so pretty, I like that. Got some good milk glass bowls too. 18. I don't know why I find it so interesting. I don't know if I love the pink. I wonder if I could change that because it's only $15.99 and it's big. Here, I'm gonna pull it out. No, that's um, sewing drawers. Oh, right. You know the old sewing machine holders? Yeah. So we're over here at Riverside Antiques and there's like yeah. two locations. You got this one right behind us and then you got that building over there. So we're gonna hit up both, but we're gonna check out this one first. Nice piece though. Oh, I just sold one of these. Here, over here. I can hear it over here. I can hear it over here. I like this brass piece. It's actually not a bad price. It's not a bad price for someone that's gonna buy it and put it in their house. It's an interesting brass vase. Almost looks like trench art. It says it's a vase for four, but it could be a candle holder too. It looks like there's right. a little bit of wax or corrosion there. I like that though. I do too. Gosh, it must be a Georgia thing. I can't believe how many of these vases with this design style that I find. Oh my gosh, all three for 16? Could I start a pile somewhere? Yes, you can. Right here, okay? Yeah, yeah, that's totally fine. I'll actually move it right down there. Just oh, perfect. In case. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. That's a beautiful picture. Wow. 26. So pretty. Good grief. Another, they're calling this one alabaster, but I'm pretty sure it's onyx. For $49.99. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. This looks a lot like the one that we saw in the Peddler's Antique Mall in Forest. They actually have a lot of onyx in here. I love the candlestick holders, $27.99 for the pair. Those are so beautiful. 
that vase that I found at Gift and Thrift in Harrisonburg, Virginia a couple of months back. Same exact vase. This one is $12.99. I'd never seen them before. And here's the exact same one. We've sold these before. $24.99 for the set. You found two of the little Avon ones. Uh -huh. Three of these. Three of these. And then that little blue Avon. I hadn't even yes. shown them that one yet. Oh this is becoming gosh. your specialty. I know. I what love in the them. world? I need a, big, I need a house. <laughs> I don't understand how there's such a huge concentration of this style here in Georgia. 15. So we were over there, now we're heading over here. This glass set. Oh, those are pretty. 45, but this booth is 75% off unless it says ND or no discount. I think it would only be like 11 something. Had these pieces before 24 I think that's about what I sold them at or 36 something very similar up at Luckett's the last fall market really like this vase that's hand blown you can see where it's been knocked right there and hand painted 26 Love those last minute finds. Mm -hmm. So cute. It's a little lidded box for $5.99. Mm -hmm. Those are pretty. Yeah, they are. We are heading back up to Virginia. The truck is pretty full. I don't think we would have been able to get anything else. Nope. Or, or at least we would have had to do some serious stacking in the back. Mm -hmm. Eight plus hour drive ahead of us. We're going to be picking up more stuff on the way back. From that last video. Yeah. Those two wash stands that we got in Forest at the Peddler's Antique Mall. Peddler's Antique Mall. We're going to pick up the two pieces of furniture that we found the other day. I gotta rearrange the back though. Here. Pretty good. 
aren't that heavy. Just, can we put those screws in uh, one of the cup holders up there? And then I'm getting these marble pieces. <laughs> oh, I guess my stuff has to go in the trash. I know who you put right there. Bye. <laughs> it fits. I'm just kidding. All right, that was painless. Back down that right. Have all of my Georgia pretties laid out here at the table. I am so glad that I decided to invest in these pieces. If I hadn't, I would 100% still be thinking about them. The painted details that were put in to this uh, still life are just are beautiful. Kind of want to sell them as a pair. It's going to be really hard for me to break these up. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that yet. Of course, I always need to pick up the hands, especially when they're at a good price. I'm trying really hard to only pick up the hands when I know I can resell them for a decent price. I need to stop paying top dollar for them when I see them. They just look so classy. I just love what you, they can be used for. They could be used to hold jewelry, business cards, pins, anything. I try to pick them up when I can. Caroline just kept finding them back to back to back. Also found a lot of great brass pieces. This little guy we got at Riverside Antiques. And when I initially picked it up, I was like, well, it kind of almost looks like a trench art piece. And it actually still could be. It's got some weight to it. I think it looks like an old school hose nozzle, but it doesn't have the adjustable part up here like you would see on one of those. If it was to be used as a candlestick, holder it would need a pretty tiny candle probably best use for it would be a bud vase and I mean what a cute little bud vase that would make I don't think I got to show you guys this super sweet carved I believe it's soapstone trinket dish holder with the lid it was a very last minute find right when we were getting ready to leave the Riverside Antiques the second portion of it and for the price I couldn't say no. It's definitely not in perfect condition. We got some imperfections here and there, some cracks, some chips, but like I said, for the price, don't think I gave you guys a good look at this piece either. It's just a hand carved wooden bowl with the raw edge. Picked this up when we were at 10 Penny Lane and I believe it was from Beth with the broom closet. I think it was her booth that I found it at. It was on sale and after putting it with the rest of the stuff, I'm surprised how well it worked all together. After picking up that piece, I immediately want to grab these two, also found at Riverside in the second building and absolutely precious. This one's got a little more pink to it and this one's got a little more red and burgundy. It makes me want to paint my entire booth this like burgundy color. <laughs> I'm trying to talk myself off the ledge on that one. Just a really nice basic bowl 
but what I really appreciated was the glazing work that was done. It looks like someone pressed actual leaves, did the glazing, and then came in and etched uh, the detail on the leaves. It was a really good price. I don't know if it's everybody's cup of tea, but I really like it. And it does work with the rest of the stuff that I have here. I think this would definitely be a fall like its piece along with this fabulous basket. As you guys know, I've been working on collecting hanging baskets for the fall luckets wall display that I plan on doing. And this basket was just too nice to pass up. Uh, this little cross stitch, four bucks. I figured why not? I think cross stitching and um, needlepoint are gonna be pretty big moving forward, at least over the next year. I see them trending more. And so a little duck, a little mallard, four dollars, I'll take the risk. I do not remember picking up this bottle. But when I was unwrapping all this stuff, I found it, and so I guess I did. I hope I paid the two dollars that it is. I hope I didn't just walk out with it. I don't. I don't know what happened there. So I also got that bottle. Okay. So with the limited research that I've done, I actually think these might be a set of lucite shell bowls. They would have originally come with like one bigger bowl. I'm on the hunt for cute candle snuffers for a future collaboration. Clear glass. I picked up a few pieces. This vase, do you see the bird here? I love the bird motif. Uh, found a little candy dish recently that I believe had the same bird on it. It's got some weight to it, it's solid. This piece also has some weight to it. I really like the scallop top up here. And listen to this. And then this giant bowl. I don't know, maybe I just, maybe I just like big bowls because they're so great for putting other things in and they make such a wonderful tablescape statement. Also has a really pretty scalloped edge up top. Actually all three of these pieces do. Does not have that same crystal ring like the other two do. For the price that I picked this up for, I, I can't complain. I see people post questions about clear glass all the time. Like, is it worth it? I can't seem to sell it. And with clear glass, it is it is tough. It, it can be a tough sell. I think your best bet is to find it very cheap. I think it would be really hard to resell this if I had purchased it for like $25 and then try to sell it for like 95. My rule of thumb when investing in clear glass is to do it cheaply. Don't do entire sets and marry it in with non-clear glass. Brass, other dishes that aren't clear glass, some color, maybe some stone. Just get it away from other clear glass pieces if you can. I think a little collection of a couple pieces ain't bad, but I have them at different heights and I think that kind of breaks it up when I'm looking at them I don't just see a, a sea of clear glass there I just think we're in a time period where people don't want a complete set of matching dishes they want to mix match with other things so somebody might get a set of five clear water goblets but they'll want to put it with some blue flow plates I know that's not like amazing advice and it's not easy to follow because a, a whole lot of it is very subjective. Out of all these pieces, I think this is the only one that I picked up that's like a project piece, but really like to figure out what to do behind, I don't know, is this a doily? What, what would you call this? Like, it's almost like a table center cloth. You got the white and you got the cream with the gold frame. I like those elements. I'm just not a huge fan of this pink. I think it would look fabulous with like maybe a rich green behind it. It was well framed. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to ruin someone's beautiful work to be able to access it. Finding these huge brass candlestick holders, interesting. I think I found them in the same booth along with this one that did not have a pair. And even though brass candlestick holders tend to be like a guarantee sale for me, I have not sourced and sold ones these sizes. I mean, this is every bit of 18 inches and I think this is probably like 16. So I don't know how well those would do with buyers. Maybe they're a little too big, but they were priced well enough that I'm willing to take that risk and test them on the market. So my struggle right now is trying to decide like, what from this group am I gonna hold back for luckets? What do I just need to take to my booth right now? I also have Lester Loot that's coming up here in the spring and Tori and I are splitting a 10 by 10 booth for that. But I think we would make that one a little more mid-century modern. I don't know if I'm taking those paintings though. Those might be luckets pieces. I'm not sure. I'm struggling. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna distribute this stuff <laughs> for events and things that are coming up over the next year and I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna do that yet. So 
TBD. Camera died, but we're back. I did forget two things. One, this beautiful picture that I picked up from Ten Penny Lane. It's got two week old flowers sitting in it right now, but that's exactly why I got it. I thought it'd just make the most beautiful vase. And I'm keeping this piece, it, it's been in my kitchen. It just makes me really happy when I look at it. And then the last piece. <laughs> it is so beautiful. It's a three piece set. There is a skirt, tank, shirt, and this absolute, fabulous jacket I guys we're in Riverside Antiques walking around I don't know why I didn't get this on camera but this was hanging high up in somebody's booth and I was able to fish it down I just I, I had to try the jacket on I just had to see what it looked like on me I mean it's not the right outfit but look at this jacket it fits me perfectly come on I haven't tried on the skirt and the tank but the jacket fit, which made it all worth it. I mean, the detailing, it is, it, it's beautiful. And to keep, I'm keeping it. I think I've made the joke like 15 times that I need to buy Taylor Swift tickets just to wear this jacket. I have no clue what I'll wear this to. I mean, who really needs a reason to wear a fabulous, completely sequenced and beaded jacket? Oh, this? Oh, I just, I just went out to buy milk. 